your regular path is excitement about your kid graduating from high school and then going away to college. Well, for kids with disabilities, graduation from high school, that's, that's it. Now what? Who's going to give them a job? What are they going to do? It, it's giving the person the tools to go from being a spectator of life, possibly for the rest of their life, to actually being a part of it. I'm Michelle Vossler. I'm John Vossler's mom, and along with my husband. I adopted John at birth. I would say when he was in preschool, the preschool teachers were the first ones to come to us and say, um, we think your son should be tested um, because he can't quite use his hands the same way other kids can. And sure enough, they found a little anomaly. It's basically a genetic mutation that only about 25 other known people in the world actually have, so it's extremely rare. I, I was struggling a lot in school. School was always hard for me. And I was like noticing that all these kids are doing great, and it was just hard for me to realize that I'm not doing so great. I didn't know what my future was gonna be like. To be honest, I didn't think I'd make it until my 18th birthday, seriously. John the Boy Scout, John the Eagle Scout, John the Superhero. John has this identity. It's who he is on the inside. It's who he wants to be. Our school district works with a wonderful company called At Work. The goal is employment and the highest level of independence for the individual that the individual is capable of. I have the fun job of being in small business, uh, specializing in recreational boating, uh, called Seattle Boat Company. We believe that we had positions available for at-work employees. I want them to experience real work. They don't want to be given some little special role. They want to be integrated into the company. It was an amazing experience working with Alan. In movies, there's the stereotype of the character who just, the sun always hits just right, and there's always the glint in the eye. Alan is the first and only person I have ever met who actually has a glint in his eye. We said we've got positions for two guys, so it was a perfect opportunity to bring both Michael and John in. John works at the North Lake location for Seattle Boat Company. Michael works at the Bellevue location. Being an outdoor showroom, it's very challenging to keep these boats presentable. The first time I ever saw Michael jump in here, he was scrubbing away and just owning the boat. If you're telling me how to be here and do this, he, he won't leave until it's done, so he's, he has his stuff in place. <laughs> Michael is a very hard worker. He's always upbeat, he's always on time. So he, it's a good way for all of us to kind of see how we should be working every day. <laughs> Keeps us all motivated. If we want to introduce a new task, uh, it's just a phone call to Joe. Hey, Joe, this is what we're thinking. Joe schedules a time to come down. We all work together and make that task doable and give Michael the roadmap to success to do that. Joe, he's a big teddy bear, really. At the beginning, he was with me every single day. And then basically, as the months go by, he kind of fades away. A typical day for John here at Seattle Boat is he gets here early and he grabs his cup of coffee. He'll, uh, he'll sit down, chat with some of the crew and myself, and then right at 8 o'clock, he punches in, gets his uh, materials, and then starts working. I mean, I work with some great people. Um, I'm glad to be part of their team. 
I love my job. It's more than a job. It's made me realize that I can do work. Five days out of seven, he doesn't like to get out of bed, but on Mondays and Fridays, he is up, uh, ready to go with a smile on his face. So great. thank you very much. Yeah. Since John had taken this job at Seattle Boat Company, my husband and I have seen him go from a teenager to a man. He's come of age. Just giving Michael a sense of worth and proving to himself that, you know, he can do things. He can uh, be responsible. <laughs> they have embraced him, uh, been really positive to him, and, and I think on the flip side of that, he's brought something to them. To see somebody come in with a label of a disability that can come in and do all the stuff that you need to have done, it's inspiring. It's awesome. It will inspire you. It will motivate your employees. You'll come away a different person. In business, there's always risks, but with people with disabilities, just take a chance. Um, they may surprise you. He knows who he is. He knows that he is a young man with a disability. But he doesn't let that define him. And he's not going to let it stop him. And that's that superhero. Every day it's a new opportunity to push the envelope. To take another step. We can be more.